Welcome back to the 19. Special thanks to St. Michael's Golf Course here in Little Bay. This is uh, Skip's, this is next door to the Skip's place as well, by the way. What a view. Uh, and I would like to introduce the newest member of the 19th. Welcome to the clubhouse, Luke Geary. Oz, how are you, mate? Today, this is how we're going to roll it. We're going to play skins uh, format. So who's going to win the, the most holes out of nine? We're going to play longest drive on a par five and closest to the pin on a selected par three. Um, Loser has to shout the first schooner when we're done. Sweet. How's it sound? Quick hundred on it too. Oh, you want a hundred on Quick it? Quick hundred on it. All right, beautiful. Done. Let's go. Let's go, mate. Right. Right. Scissor, paper, 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 rock. Fuck, there we go. got me with the there fucking reversal. Yeah. That's oh. first win of the day. Luke Keary win last night against the Broncos. <laughs> Scope, early win, scissor, paper, rock. Yeah. Which one means more? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love that. Fuck. Yeah, it's gone right, like you caught it. Tough start. Tough start. He's a short. Come back. Stay. Come back. That'll play. That's good, man. That'll play. That's a nice swing. It's just not too, I don't try to whack it too yeah, hard, you know. One, I can't. You can teach a few boys some lessons, <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh. That's a great start. That's a nice part. <laughs> oh my god. Nice little part to start your day. Let's start with a double bogey. <laughs> oh my god. Always oh, left it. No, we'll start with a triple. Oh, quadruple. Little, we'll count that. Quadruple. Four of the best. With regards to the boys at the Chooks, who hits them well and who doesn't? Mate, that's sneaky one. You probably, Adam Kieran can hit a ball, a proper, proper. I think his dad played a bit of like, amateur golf. And yeah. he's, he'd, be, he'd be around single figures. And yeah. then, you know why got, I can see that? Just straight off the bat, his goal kicking and how yes. sweet he hits yeah. it. Uh, you can see in his goal kicking that he hits a yeah, really yeah, good yeah. ball. And uh, worst, for the amount of golf he plays, Teddy is. So Teddy, great. he's not great. I mean, he, he mate, he's a genius around the greens and that, but he can be far left and as far right as I've seen. Before. Yeah, so nice and direct on the footy field, oh, but he's, the opposite he's, on the he's golf actually course. Actually, the opposite. He's so consistent on the footy field and just so erratic. <laughs> I love field. that. Love that too. Should have got some sand, eh? Fuck. Yeah. Let's give it a couple of those. You got a nice putting straight. I like it. It's not a bad, not a bad start with the putt. Uh, take that. Especially when He's I put come it back in the down bushes. to earth. Yeah. One apiece. Four. Okay, we are one apiece. Kez pulls one back there. We're up to the closest to the pin, par three. Is there any other, other little wages that you'd like to chuck into this? Closest, we'll go 50. Closest to, got to land on the green, but if you're off, we're off. We'll just go to the next part three, we'll double. Done. We've got our friends at Top Sports, we'll have a little market for this down the bottom as well. Uh, who's gonna, who do you think will go close? And we even have a market for not hitting the green as well. <laughs> so that should be a giggle. Uh, um, so 50 bucks. Yeah. I'm gonna have to call Ice and see if he can lend me some money because uh, <laughs> I could be down a couple hundred by the end of the day. Oh, fuck you. Oh, I'm on the money here. This could be 50. <laughs> This could be 50. Holy fuck it, misfire bucket. Come Mile. on, Skip. <laughs> I'm in trouble. Come back. Get up. <laughs> Come back. Oh my God. Come back. Run, baby. It's a great shot. 50 of the best. Wow. That's a great shot. Thanks, mate. That is actually it. Thank you. Closest to the pin. Skip, if you're playing home, top sports. <laughs> and you played mentally. Would have been Cash in, baby. Go. Short of a length. Short of a length. Yeah, that's that's the dangers. Oh. Yeah, that's the go. Oh! oh. <laughs> oh yeah, you went at it. I respect that. I had to. Yeah. I had to sink that. Too. You had to win. Is that that would have been to tie it, right? Yeah. Here, goodbye. I still think you're a chance for missing. Nah, I'm on here. 
I just need to do that exact same part again and I'll be sweet. <laughs> that's a win. That's a win. Fuck yeah. That's an ugly four. Fuck. You got to par that skip. Mate, you give me a bit of grief about my rig. What about your rig head of late? Obviously, um, been banged up a little bit the last couple of years um, with the head stuff in particular. Uh, I know you, you you guys at the Roosters on the forefront of making sure, you know, you're looking after it. You've got guys like Boydie mm. and, and Jakey have to deal with it in the, over the past couple of years. How is it all, mate? And uh, yeah, how's the, how's the rig? Yeah, we've, we've had a few at the Roosters, yeah. obviously. We've had a few high-profile boys go down with Jake and Boyd, which it's not good to see. But yeah, I trust the club and the doctors that the club has and the NRL has that um, they put our health first. And I think that's what you've seen with, with Boyd and Jake. So there's, it's, it's, a hard, it's a hard topic to talk on because mm. even the, you know, the best neurologists in Australia, they don't have the info. They don't have all the answers to, to be able to give all. it to you. So you kind of just got to take their advice um, you know, weigh up how you're feeling yourself and things like that. Take the rest if you need it. Um, but yeah, I feel I feel good. I, I, I know that they wouldn't put me in, in, in danger, so. Yeah, I, I feel like, you know, me and Ice have talked about it as well on the sports show, it's just the, the nature of you guys being the Roosters, playing big games. Generally, you know, you're playing so many grand finals in a row that it's more, it's more often than not guys like, like you or, or guys like, you know, Callum that are playing Origin, the game's getting quicker, so. Yeah, yeah I think you've seen, Probably the, the way like Boyd and Jake play for like 10 years, that style of footy, the hardness, the yep. toughness they played with kind of probably took a toll in the end and people probably don't see the midweek training sessions, the pre-season sessions, the constant, constant, constant. Do you think that's what will need to be tweaked now that it's more probably spoken about and like know, there's more awareness the, around you've it? You've obviously seen with the NFL the way they've, yeah, I think they've that's turned, what I'm leading to. I think they've turned the doll a bit too much, I think, with yeah. the... You know, they can only they only can practice once a week in pads and they can barely touch each other training they have time limits on drills and things yeah. like that so have you seen the new headgears that they're i've seen them i won't be wearing one <laughs> <laughs> no but i think we'll get to a point like that like yeah. obviously the sustainability of the game and the, the promotion of the game you want parents to you know send their kids to play football and know that it's safe and know that they're going to be looked after by the game so yeah. we're going to get pushed towards that but i think they've turned the dial a bit Mm. A bit too far. And even as fans, like fans just want to see all the stars playing as much as they 100%, can. Hundred percent, hundred percent. We're gonna keep well. like that's what the NFL have done with the quarterbacks. Obviously, you can't yep. touch them. So uh, yeah, I think they're doing. A, we're doing a better job of it as a game. Obviously, you would have back in the day when you, you know there was no HIA. There was I was the opposite like of Boydie. So. I didn't play it tough, yeah. mate. So it didn't, <laughs> <laughs> it didn't happen to me. <laughs> it's up there. It's up there. Okay, little recap, three holes done. Skip, two to one on Kiri, and a nice little pineapple as well. Mm. So if you're playing at home, top sport odds. Now we're up to the longest drive again. Top sports, Luke, you chuck that in. The top sports are looking after us here with the odds. I'd probably say, Kez, you're gonna be favorite for this. You finally got the big bopper out. Yeah, I, mate, I have lost plenty of balls in that right hand bush down there. So She's very thin. I think to get it on the fairway, give me time. You might uh, dibble one down there, you got a 200 meter drop. Yeah, yeah well, I'll, see what, I'll see what you do first. Actually, no, I'm up first. You're so up you, first. Um, another 50? Yeah. It's going to be expensive <laughs> afternoon the way I'm in there. Sit! Ooh, that's in the pack ocean. That's gone. That's gone by a mile. Oh, Ooh, that's going you. right. That's. Keep going. Keep going! Yeah, she's gone as well. One guy I want to speak about, a young gun that's coming through, uh, got thrown into the State of Origin Arena in the in the squad this year, and I had a little bit to do with him when he was a young kid. He's not a young kid anymore. He's he's did a big boy. Shape him? I did. <laughs> I moulded him, and he, we, I'm sure he would have told you that. But no, nah, Joseph Sawali, mate. Um, just speak to us a little bit about him. Um, is he playing on you? You play right edge, or you're I played with him at the start of the year on the right edge, mate. He is. So I've been lucky enough to play with Latrell and had Greg in 14, yep. 15, and he was he was awesome, but. He's a mixture of that Falao, but he's got the physical presence of Latrell and Greg, and he's got the body type of Falao, and he's 
anyone that's watched him this year, like you see these young kids come in with the skill and the talent, and they've you got to teach them that hardness of the game. And yeah. he's come in with the hardness. And, yeah, um, it's, it's the most pleasure. impressive part. Is, yeah, uh, it is. It, for for eighteen year old debuted at seventeen. He's eighteen this year to come in with that and. He physically dominating some, you know, older players. He's uh, he's a special talent. He's a good kid too. Like most of them, mate. They all. Where does his future lie? Do you think uh, moving yeah. forward? Do you think he's yeah, he's, he's long long term? You think he's a, a full? I know he played fullback yeah, growing up when, yeah. when I used to watch him. Centers, you know, yeah, I floated yeah, yeah. that about on the YKT yeah, sports show. Yeah, I think show. positional. He's obviously going to move closer to the ball. The older he gets, and you want want his hands on the ball. That kind of you know. The, the, Path Joey Marnie, the path Greg took from wing to centre to fullback. Yep. Um, but yeah, he's mate. He's an interesting one. He's got a bit of an aura around him, a bit of a sunny bill aura around him. He does. It doesn't surprise he? me if uh, I, with Roosters hard on. I hope he stays for a long time. But it wouldn't surprise me if we we see him venture across a few different sports. Well, I remember even as a kid, they were talking about he had um, people scouting him in basketball and everything. So like yeah, rugby yeah. union basketball. And I got a couple of mates in basketball that have. I think one of them got drafted this year. Um, yeah, mate, he could play a lot of different sports here. Yeah. I'd love to see him as a wide receiver. Yes. Oh, get fucked. Back in the game. Go. Oh. Did it go? I needed that. I needed that. What? The rules of golf, it's a fucking... I don't think I play with a rugby league player who actually follows them. That is... For the win. That is disgusting. For the win. Oh. <laughs> uh, the form of the boys this year, a little bit slower to get into gears, but four in a row now, must be feeling good. Yeah, we, it's, been, it's been a tough year, like we've... Um, we didn't start the way we wanted. We've dropped some games. That you just never back, drop. Yeah, looking back, we've, we were disappointing. But we're in a position now where we can make a run for it. Like we've, our destiny's in our own hands. We've won our last four, and we're kind of finding ourselves now in between. We can see the top four at the moment. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's good. It's good. And we've got some games with teams in front of us, so it's nice. That's the beauty of the, the back end. We'll probably, this will be drop in a couple of weeks anyway, but the beauty of it is that these are pretty much all playing each other. So yeah, it's good. It's obviously, up to you if you want to yeah. take advantage, advantage of it. Really. Obviously the Bronx last night, we've got the Cowboys this week, and then we've got Melbourne and South to finish. So um, we're going to see where we're at. We're yeah. going to see where we're at. And if we can get through them, um, we can start building some, some momentum, I reckon. Run me through 2014, Luke Keary, when I when I played you for for the Bird Gang back in the day, as a young rabbit to, uh, to where the Luke Keary is now. I'm just saying, as a disrespectful, <laughs> disrespectful kid, I was uh, mate. My favourite players were like Jamie Lyon, love Kieran, love Chez, love, and I was disrespectful. I remember, but um, him yeah, and his, him and I his little mate Adam Reynolds. I, I look back and I cringe on just the way we. Carried on a bit that year, but we, yeah, we got the got the job done. But wasn't the best, wasn't the best look. Funny little encounters, like especially you know as you go on to you get a little bit older, you start to meet the boys. Like you and Ren were fucking the biggest pest that year because I was the same <laughs> yeah, as you. I was yeah. a massive fan of the boys before I got there, yeah. so you know I wasn't at that level, but I'd be like, yeah, these fucking cunts get into the fuck do they think they are, no. good times. One hole to go, three apiece, tied. Kez, you pulled one back there. Made the best man win, eh? Let's go, let's do this. Half four, it's a long one. Yeah. You're about 400, so. I parred little, this last your week, little baby drive. I parred this last week. <laughs> your little baby drive, I don't know how far it's gonna get. I did. Nice par first, par, par last, put the pressure on, apply the pressure. I'm gonna apply the pressure straight off here. Beautiful. Wait. Sit now. Sit now. He's riding the name like a winner. <laughs> I'll take that. Where'd it go? <laughs> it went to the right. Well, I have, mate, my, I can't see shit. 
Yeah, I'm alright there. I'm a play. Fairway? I'm a play, nah, just to the right. Just just past the tree. You got it? Yeah. Yeah, just past me to the right as well. Started drifting as well. I lost it straight away. This is set up perfectly. We're three, yeah. two meters apart in the bush. One <laughs> hole to go. You know what? Well, I haven't seen you sink a putt all day, so I'm going to back myself. To play it safe. I'm going to stab one out. Because you've lived your whole up life and real safe, eh? Up and down. Up and down you've for lived a par. Your life real life. Safe, up and down yeah. for a par, because I've been doing that all day. <laughs> and then we'll go from there. So let's just. Keep going. That's not enough. Ah. That's all right, I'll take it. Oh my God. I'll take that. <laughs> Didn't even I'll go take that. <laughs> oh, fucking. Well, I haven't hit it well. We're gonna have to try fucking go through. Can't go over, can I? No. All right. Shot. Shot. Look at that. Oh, I nearly went in. That's I, and I called that, Kez. Did you, did you just dribble that 100 meters? Yeah. He's left it as well. He's left it as well. I don't deserve it. I don't deserve it. The win. The skip. Yeah, fucked. The skip. Thanks, mate. First well beer on you. Let's and go. 150 in the fucking in the hole. Straight, straight to the 19. Hey, that's all right. They pay you the big bucks at the chooks. Everyone knows that. <laughs>